For example, uh, you could create a bass like this. <laughs> Or you could do it very easy. Just like this. Maybe like this. Just an example, you could leave one uh, step, two steps, four steps, no steps, or just very, you know, just it's about. You can just hear to it, and if you like it, then you choose. Okay, just play around, you know, again, and I've created this melody, it's a bit, it's not so simple, you know. Yes, it's okay, you know, I just want to show you the um, structure. Then we got th uh, those three things together. <laughs> Yes, and I gotta say, you can um, make automation clips of those here to variate the tempo of this effect, you know, for the bass effect. Make it more fast, like this. For example, you know, just for uh, make it not so boring. And I think if you click on this button, you go to both parameters. You go to here, that's the last parameter you've clicked. You go just uh, right click and create automation clip. And there we are, you can. Um, change the tempo of this bass effect, you know, that's in the plugin Polyzone. In other plugins you need to find the buttons and yeah, the same. You gotta do the same like uh, I did. Yes, or you could uh, do it uh, make more uh, slowly here and then maybe like this. You just play around and that's it. And at last, I've added the uh, lead, which is not really lead because it's really small and not so loud. You know, because the music start drum and bass, that's why it's called drum and bass. It's just the uh, drums and the bass, and now this little lead I've added. You know, I've just uh, played around and find out the melody, which is like uh, this. And then I've simply copied the notes. This is very important. Important that you all that you already have the say have the same notes. You know. You copy them, go to your pattern um, with the lead, you paste it, and okay, the lead, I've put it higher, but one full step, you know, one step higher, and then it's, it's all out the same notes, that's important. Then I've just copied them and put them up, you know. And then for variation, here I've just added one extra tone or something like this, you know, all together.
Sounding good, you know. I delete this with uh, just with a right mouse click. Let's listen. All right, and you could do it like this. Yes, and you sh uh, should do, you sh should can do something like this. Now at the ending, if I hope you've learned something, you can try if you can do something like this. Drum and bass, they are often use very, uh, they often use a lot of strings or pads more. Um, for example, I've made a, a bit um, theory about uh, structure. This here sh um, could be a little part of a track, you know, of a real track, and. Yeah, it's the same like before, but I just added a pad with the same notes like the bass, you know, already the same notes. And I've just choose the first pad in Poison, it's pad three reasons, you know. You could test the others, but I like three reasons. Then I just um, paste the notes and to have more sound, to fill the sound more, I just, you know, I just, I had these notes, oops, yes, I had these notes and then I just copied them again and paste them two times again to have more sound at one time, to, f um, have to fill up the sound more with the pads, you know. And then I've created this. You now here with the automation clip for the pad which goes down and then up before the drum started. And here uh, a pretty fast LP for fading in the drums, you know. I just I've just put the drums at one channel. Channel two. Here, channel two. And then go to channel two. I got. To, I simply added the fruity fast LP. You click on cut off with the right mouse, and then create automation clip. Then you got it here. That this is this one. I've j um, made it shorter, and then I've got these two points, and yeah, it's fading in. You know, slowly, not same. Um, at the same way all the time, slowly, 
okay so here i've uh, got first the pad then fading in the drums then drums with the bass here i think i guess it's a nice effect and if you're checking my house electro tutorial at my youtube channel this was my first tutorial you could uh, download the uh, other sound pack for free too and there were some nice fx effects you know for uh, nice reverse effects for um building up the track here you could add someone here one reverse um fx um for fading in for example you know all right and then i've got the lead and for example and then you can decide how do you want to make your track you can listen to other drum and bass tracks and um um, get inspired by them and you then you know uh, you have an idea how to make the structure you know okay I've made it like this for example and I wanna thank you for watching I say bye bye I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, learned something put a thumbs up I appreciate it and yeah peace see you next time have fun with this <laughs>